Well, the first half was obviously really disappointing. Uh, the way they came out and jumped on us, uh, I thought they really uh, were just tougher than we were in the first half and out toughed us, especially on the glass. You know, they got Brooks had eight offensive rebounds for the game and five in the first half. And Morrell really got it going early. And, uh, you know, we, we did not respond because he had 23 points at halftime. Second half, we did a much better job defensively, which allowed us to get back into the game to where we cut it uh, down to seven, I think, with three or four minutes to go. But spotting a good team on their home floor, a 14-point lead is really, really a tough, uh, you know, obstacle to overcome. You know, give them credit. I thought that uh, Morrell was fantastic. Obviously, he missed one shot and, and uh, was phenomenal from the three-point line. And then I thought Brooks really was dominant. Uh, both on the glass, and he had 16 uh, rebounds tonight to go with his 15 points. I thought Ruffin was very good, as was Brakefield. So, you know, give them credit. They played very well and took it to us tonight, and we've got to regroup, learn from this, watch the film as a team on Monday morning, and bounce back for Wednesday's game against Georgia. Questions? Sure, Coach, uh, Tolu out today. Can you give a reason why Tolu Smith didn't play today, and do you know when you might expect him back? We're hoping that he'll be allowed to be back in practice on Monday. Paul Jones, go ahead. Coach, uh, <clears throat> you mentioned Morrell. It looked like you put DJ on Morrell in the second half. Uh, did, did you have any thoughts about doing that in the first half? We should have. It was uh, poor coaching. We should have put him on him, probably start the game in retrospect. You know, Fagan was coming in tonight with his uh, career high at Tennessee, and Morrell played well up there as well. But, uh, you know, the size was a much better matchup uh, when he was guarded by both Tyson, or excuse me, by both Iverson and Shaq. He was too big for them. So give him credit. Uh, someone needs to mute because there's there's multiple people talking. Joel, Joel. Hey, Joel. Okay. Joel, you're hot mic right now. Next question. Hey, hey, uh, Ben. Is it uh? You said. You know, Ole Miss kind of out talked you guys tonight. Is is that somewhat surprising when you come into a in-state rivalry against Ole Miss? That yeah, that could yeah. Be an issue I, I just thought they they out tough us in the first half. I don't think in the second half. I thought we did a good job fighting back, but they came out and punched us in the in the mouth uh, there to start. And I thought we did a good job fighting back. We had it like nineteen seventeen. They called a timeout, but then it happened again, and uh, you know we we didn't execute uh, you know well offensively per se, in the first half. And, and really look at the difference in the game. You know, uh, we shot, uh, you know, for the game, we shot 45% from the field, but three for 16 from three was, was a killer compared to their 11 for 23. Uh, so that was, you know, a huge stat in the game is that, uh, you know, they, they had eight more threes and shot such a high percentage from three. When you're a guest, uh, when, when you're without Tolu, is, is, do you try to get out in transition more? It seemed like when you guys were out in transition, maybe it, it, it got Iverson kind of in space, and he always does well in that category. Was that a focus tonight? You know, the only way you can get in transition is to actually not be taking the ball out of the net. So that's, that was the problem in the first half. We weren't getting any stops, so it's really hard to get out and run on made shots versus missed shots. You can some on make, but it's much easier when you get stops. Second half, we did a much better job in that respect. Second half, they were only two for nine from three and shot, uh, uh, let's see, what were they from the field in the second half here? Uh, yeah, 44%. So much better than the first half versus, you know, 58 and 64. That's why we were able to get out in the second half and get some runouts. Parrish, go ahead and hop in there. 
Hey, uh, Ben, you touched on the matchup with Morrell a little bit earlier, but he had only gone over 15 points for them twice. Did you guys evaluate him as one who could get hot in the way that he did? Yeah, you know what? My assistants, two of them, both noticed how well he shot the ball in warm-ups. Like, he didn't miss a shot tonight in warm-ups. And you can see he got a lot of confidence from that last game. And he's had some good games at home. He played very well against Memphis at home here where he had 20 points and shot it great. So, uh, you know, give the kid credit. He really played well tonight. And he's a player that we knew was a real good player, yes. Obviously, just kind of kind of take us through that first half. What, what the looks Ole Miss was getting, obviously, Morrell was hot. But mm -hmm. uh, what what you see in that first half from them? I feel like we just had to be uh, a little bit more tougher on the first half. Um, having that sense of ur urgency on uh, on defense, uh, knowing you know that a guy is uh, is getting hot, and um, yeah, we just gotta you know make adjustments as soon as he you know he hit two shots. We gotta we gotta make adjustments to him, and you know we just gotta have a little bit more sense of urgency to uh, come out after uh, after the timeouts since he already hit two threes. Go to Andy next. Go ahead and use that raise your hand function to keep your questions up for Iverson. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Iverson. Why wasn't there that urgency, you think, especially in the first half? I mean, you know, what kind of was lacking maybe for the team overall in that, in that avenue? I mean, um, I mean, I don't, I mean just – we just gotta be more focused. I feel like uh, we gotta uh, we gotta make adjustments. Like you know, basketball is a uh, as a matter of fact making adjustments during the game, and that's that's what we that's what we need to do. We uh, we need to learn how to make adjustments while the game is going on, not before or after. Did the ten day gap between games play a factor in this at all? Um, not at all. We were well. We felt like we were well prepared for uh, for this team. You know, we were had an advantage because we didn't have a game. Uh, you know, we were preparing for Ole Miss the whole time and. You know, like I told you, we just uh, we just gotta learn from this, uh, learn to make adjustments during the game, and you know now, like you know, some of the coaches said that uh, you know this should be a wake-up call for us because um, you know we gotta have that sense of urgency during the game. With, with that Tolu in the in the lineup tonight, uh, what what kind of challenges does that pose just in terms of getting the ball down low? Um, is is um you know is it was you know. We we kind of yeah we kind of missed Tolu really um you know Tolu's a threat down there and um you know he's he's one of the best passers off the post one of the best you know post players that can pass the ball and we actually needed that a little bit today. It felt like Matthew Morrell just couldn't couldn't miss for Ole Miss. Is it, is it kind of one of those nights that sometimes you just kind of shake your head and say like hey we we tried defensively especially in the second half. I mean, is it just one of those that's a hot hand? Is, is something yeah, it's, it's it's a hot hand. It's a hot hand, and you know it happens in basketball. All we gotta do is just uh, keep playing, and you know I'm I'm not gonna, you know I'm not gonna just blame or you know blame whoever, you know was you know guarding him. You know it's it's the whole team. The whole team gotta uh, make them adjustments, and you know we just gotta we just gotta keep playing, keep playing. I'm curious with the, with the pace of play. Did you feel like? Pushing the pace and transition was, was a good strategy tonight. It seemed like maybe you guys, when you did that, it, it kind of worked in your benefit a little bit. Yeah, it did. It did. Um, you know, picking up the pace a little bit, it did help in the second half. As he just, you know, some players just kept hitting shots, and you know, it's it's gonna happen.